was splashing in the bar. Yeah, you don't want to be involved in that nonsense, do you? Hmm? Yeah. Right. We can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> now, elephants, mm -hmm. as you've just witnessed, are what we call hindgut fermenters. Basically, what that means is when they eat, they eat a food, lot of food in bulk. <laughs> <laughs> so they eat a lot of their food in bulk and the food goes into their stomach and they have a simple stomach and what happens is it ferments and that's how it digests. Yeah. Unlike your zebra, impala and like cows who's got the four chambered stomach that obviously you hear that too. The food goes into the first stomach, the cell wall gets broken down and then they chew it into a finer powder and then it goes to the second, third and fourth stomach which obviously is the Rolls Royce of digestive systems. The downside of their digestive system, the same as horses, with the fermentation, a certain gas, yeah. methane, gets built up. On hot days, a little bit more than others, because obviously the heat makes the gas yeah. build up a bit more. And at certain points of the day, it's just not possible to not Hold sound it. like you're turbocharged. <laughs> 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 Obviously he doesn't have to eat as much as the others, so he's got a lot more free. But we want deliberately off right for elephants because lovely as they are, they can very quickly have a mood swing. And there's so many things that can trigger their mood swing that is just not worth it. <laughs> they can be so happy the one minute and the next minute they could be highly irate. I'm always drinking a more runs up. <laughs> and you're like, oh shit. Brain freeze for us.